Building 7 in the World Trade Center uh, area is, is collapsing. Uh, now, whether uh, we, don't, we, we don't even know whether this was uh, something that was uh, engineered for safety reasons or it just happened uh, as a consequence of the, the two collisions this morning. Standing, that that building had been evacuated when the collapse occurred. This was known as Building 7 of the World Trade Center, and that is fresh video you're looking at of that coming down. Now, again, uh, they were able to get everybody out of that building before it collapsed. So <clears throat> I don't know whether it was, whether it was uh, accomplished by uh, demolition experts or whether it just happened as a consequence of what occurred earlier today. I remember getting a call from the uh, fire department commander telling me that they were not sure they were going to be able to contain the fire. I said, you know, we've had such terrible loss of life. Maybe the smartest thing to do is, is pull it. Uh, and they made that decision to pull. And then we watched the building collapse. When you think that, that, that part of the component of news coverage around the country every year is the excitement and the fun that people get watching an old building being demolished and they wired very carefully for days and it's a very careful operation in order to make sure that a building comes down safely. I think the last one we saw was when they brought down one of the old casinos in Las Vegas. I mean, this is just stunning to see these things come down. And then late afternoon, 5 p.m., still another building collapses. 7 World Trade Center. About an hour after the actual explosion, which was about 9.15 in the morning, if you wanted to calculate a time to cause maximum disruption, you would calculate that time. It's the start of the working day and perhaps the biggest, busiest complex uh, in the world. That's uh, 47 stories tall. There you can see it going. So this happened, oh, some uh, six hours or so after the collapse of the World Trade Center. Presumably, it was so close to the World Trade Center that it had been weakened by the explosions and the collapse of those buildings. And since the, the most recent collapse, which happened just a short while ago, Building 7, a 47-story building, as part of the World Trade Center complex. That Building Number 7 was going to collapse. That appears to be what has happened now. I, I don't know exactly how many stories the building is, Dan, but, but standing at the base of it, watching it burn about an hour ago, it looked to be something on the order of 50, 60 stories, as you said, a very, very large office building. It was a, an abrupt, total, and complete collapse at the speed of free fall. Um, in fact, you were just uh, told by police that you should move out of your um, apartment, Fabiana. Yes. You've got Carolina here? Yes. Um, they, they advise us to leave because we have... Oh, my God. Look behind us. Please pan in this way. Please be careful of your baby. This is it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No. No. We're... Listen. We'll be all right. We'll be all right. We're okay. I think we're okay. Actually, I think we're okay. Truth Action points to World Trade Center building number seven that was behind the Twin Towers and how it went down that day. ablaze at the moment and apparently getting ready to collapse. And that's what, what then subsequently caused the rest of the building to collapse. Claims and counterclaims in the course of the next 24 hours. In a report from Don Fratangelo about uh, a woman who was coming out of the building, she said the firemen were going up and she just knows that they were lost. Hoboken, who actually saw that second building collided now as you uh, continue to describe what you have seen. We're looking at the tape now, Joe. Okay, good. Uh, this, once again, happened only within the last few minutes. It's amazing. Uh, amazing, incredible, pick your word. 
for the third time today. It's reminiscent of those pictures we've all seen too much on television before when a building was deliberately destroyed, destroyed by well-placed dynamite to knock it down. After this, Chinese investigators are on the prowl, looking into who exactly is to blame. The unfinished 520-foot Mandarin Oriental Hotel went up in spectacular flames Monday night as a fireworks display went awry. One firefighter was killed battling the blaze. Officials now say China Central Television was behind the display. Officials there say they hired a company to set up hundreds of large fireworks as part of the Lunar New Year celebration. They say it was supposed to be set off in an open area beside the hotel. However, video showed spectacular bursts of fireworks just above the top of the building. The fireworks were also classified as grade A, meaning CCTV was supposed to get a special permit to set them off in the downtown area. However, officials say organizers never bothered with the paperwork and ignored police warnings. CCTV has apologized. Still, it's too soon to say how much damage was done to the structure or if it can be salvaged or must be torn down. Diane Kepley, The Associated Press.